With a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones, Thunder Flash. This time we're going to be covering some content that is exclusive to Thunder Flash. In a previous video, we covered all the parallel stones that are available in both games, and now we're going to be moving on to the version exclusive content. Thunder Flash has three exclusive parallel stones, and Wildfire has another three exclusives. The Wildfire ones will be in their own video, but the Thunder Flash ones will be happening today. All of these are hilarious and have some very good rewards as well. So I'm going to show you where to find them and just wait for the hilarity that ensues. Starting with the park in the present day. Now the parallel stone itself is along this winding road, just going to the one that kind of changes colour and cuts off. You'll find it right here. as we're sucked through a rift in the space-time continuum to a parallel world not so different to Arian's own. Oh, I know where I am. This is Coach Evans' house. I remember it from the time he invited me over for dinner. Oh, hello Arian, come in. Auntie Sylvia? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? This is where I live. It is? Wait, you mean you're... What's up, Sylv? Oh, Mark. Arian was surprised to find out I live here. Haha, <laughs> you do know Sylvia and I have been living together, don't you? Oh, so that's how things are in this world. Arian, nice to see you. Um, why are the two of you here too? Are you alright, Arian? I would have thought it would have been obvious that I was living under the same roof as Mark. But I thought he was living with Auntie Sylvia. That's right. The four of us live together. What? But how? Come on, Arian. It's not that surprising, is it? You didn't think I was married to all three, did you? Oh, you're not? Of course not. That kind of thing's not allowed, you know. Oh, yeah, right. Mark led Inazuma National to victory, you know. He's had nothing but football on the brain for as long as I've known him. So we decided to come and live with Mark, to give him the support he needs. I wasn't really up for it at first, but these three can be pretty persuasive, so in the end I had to agree. <laughs> That's not something to be laughing about, Coach Evans. Relax, Arian, it'll be fine. No, it will not! Now sit down at the table, you two. We won't be a minute. Well, Arian, how do you like my homemade stamina steak? You need a healthy portion of veg to go with that too. Help yourself to my full course salad. There's always tea and biscuits for after in case you're feeling peckish. Not to mention my very own homemade sponge cake. I'll run a nice warm bath for you after. How does that sound? Oh, yeah, for being such a good boy, you'll get more pocket money starting next month. Tell me what you want and I'll buy it for you. No, no, you shouldn't go to all that trouble, Sylvia. I'll buy something for you. How about those new sports shoes you were wanting? Ah, uh, really, this is all very kind of you, but... Uh... Oh, dear, have we done something wrong? No, 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 not at all. Hmm, that hit the spot. Ah, uh, I'm stuffed. Well, I think it's about time for the election, don't you? Election? Yes, to see who'd be best suited to be Mark's wife. Wait, what? We thought Mark would have made a decision on it since we've been living like this together all this time. I just haven't been able to decide. Hey, Arian, maybe you could decide for me. It'd be a big help. What? Me? Look, Arian, it's easy. Just choose who you think would be most suitable as Mark's wife. What, right now? Do I have to? 
Well, the fate of the world rests on this one. This is, by the way, the only time you can ever access the Evans residence in Chrono Stones at all, and only in Thunderflash at that, so it's nice to have a little look around. But more importantly, this decision actually matters, and you get a different reward depending on who you pick. Starting with Sylvia, who would make him an extra yummy fried breakfast every day and send you out the door with an extra... etc, etc. If you were to choose Sylvia as Mark's wife for whatever reason you deserve it, then you would get Shock Absorber, a skill that allows the goalkeeper's stun gauge to refill faster, which is pretty useful. If you speak to Nelly and make her the wife, this is kind of the option that the game seems to be leading towards. She has the most dialogue and she is Mark's canon wife in uh, the anime for Go Season 1, also in Go Light, which Thunderflash is kind of the equivalent to because it's the one with Biolong in it. So this is clearly the correct answer in speech marks. However, the skill that you get from Manelli is actually the worst. She just gives you Charm Up, which allows female players to have a slight advantage over male players in dribbling, so I wouldn't recommend this one. Meanwhile, Mark's canon wife from Inazuma 11 Goes Shadow is Camellia Travis, who certainly seemed the better wife when you compare the version exclusive scenes, where she made a wonderful meal versus Nelly's absolute hot garbage <laughs> that she covered. Um, she also potentially has the best skill on offer, which is recovery, and it allows you to uh, just get back into the action quicker after you've been knocked down or stunned. However, I actually need Sylvia's skill that increases, uh, allows you to get goalkeepers back in the action sooner after they've been stunned, because I have Mecha Mark on my team, and Penguin the, Penguin the Hand has the biggest stun recoil in the game, so I want this. Okay then, Sylvia will be my wife. <laughs> Alright. Breakfast in bed is very appealing, I have to admit. Thank you, Arian. It's very sweet of you to pick me. Come round whenever you like. You're always welcome. The other two have to move out now. Bit of an awkward decision for that one, Arian, but hey, if you've got your own copy of an Azuma 11 Go Chrono Stones Thunder Flash, see what the other options are. Maybe you need the skills for yourself, or you just want to see the different dialogue. But we've got Shock Absorber now. Shock Absorber. And that will be going straight onto my guy, Mecha Mark, because he actually needs it. There we go. The stun gauge drains more quickly? What do you mean, more quickly? Hold on a minute. Right, well, I'm glad I showed this on screen because that is a blatant error. The stun gauge doesn't drain more quickly, it heals more quickly. That's the point of the move. It would be dreadful if it did what it described. But I've done my double checking, and yes, that, that is an error, and you can't have to more than two skills so mean right hook is kind of useless I don't even have any punching moves on him so you're having that one instead that's bonus content in the post game you can overwrite moves in your level up move set anyway to the next parallel stone next up is in the riverside and the parallel stone is right up here in the top left corner Easy peasy girls, mind if I join you? Goldie, great, maybe you can settle this for us. We're arguing about which of the two rhyming players is cooler. Ooh, sounds fun. So who's it between? Victor and Bailong. I only have eyes for my virtuoso. So yeah, they're like night and day, those two. <laughs> I can see that. Vector is all dark and brooding, and Baylong has that shock of white hair. Well, I prefer Victor. 
He may act a bit cold, but he does laugh once in a blue moon. Deep down, I think he's quite lovely. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but Bailong's still cooler. When he laughs, he's all like, bow down, you pathetic mortals. <laughs> the ultimate power is mine. Really? That's not the impression I got. The virtuoso's laugh is like the splash of water on a summer's day. Also, Victor really cares for his brother, Vladimir. It's so sweet. Yeah, but he's only nice to him. He couldn't give a monkeys about the rest of us, like the other day, right? Well, Victor, what do you think? I want an honest opinion. Uh, it's all right, I suppose. How rude is that? He's not very nice to girls, that's for sure. <laughs> I guess he is lacking in the tact department. My virtuoso would never say something like that. If anything, Bylan's worse than that. One time. Phew, this is a ton of washing. Bylan, do you think you could help me carry this? No. <laughs> Um, excuse me. Well, that's just him playing the lone wolf. Of course he's not going to be seen helping us. <laughs> oh, is that why? Totally. That's part of the charm. So who do you prefer, Goldie? Hmm. Let me see. The answer is Bylong. <laughs> this is kind of why he's my favourite character in the Inazuma 11 series. I've seen this conversation before, but this has had me dying just as easily as the first time I saw it. That makes me break out into a fit of laughter. We're not going to be picking the Virtuoso. The serious answer is, if you pick Victor with Sky, then you'll get a move manual for Doom Dive Drive, which is a mega move and a shoot chain, but it evolves far too slowly, and it's also weaker than the true option Whereas if we pick Byalong, we get the move manual for White Hurricane, which you can barely even obtain in Wildfire because it's part of Byalong's level up moveset. It's also a mega move that's a shot block, but it's stronger and it's cooler because it's Byalong's and I couldn't answer this question any other way. You like Byalong, Goldie? I didn't picture you to I didn't picture you to be the type. Oh, there he is! Hmm. Oh, good timing. Here, my treat. Ooh, chocolate. Are these for us? Thanks a ton. But where did you get all this? Hmm. Some girls at school handed me a basketful. Don't know why. Anyway, I don't eat chocolate. Never like the stuff. Thought you guys would appreciate it, though. How can anyone not like chocolate? So kind of him. What a saint! Oh, I mean, it's weird that he doesn't like chocolate, but what an absolute legend. I clearly picked the right choice. But fine, for the sake of example, I'll show you the Victor one too. So here we go, this is what happens when we pick the wrong option. I'm not sure if it changes at all, or at least if it's kind of similar, but we will find out. You just don't get it, do you? Speak of the devil, Victor! Hmm? Oh, he walks in from the other side, how different. Oh, Jade, I'm sorry that ball hit you the other day. It was an accident. Are you alright? Eh, me? Oh, um, yeah, no worries. That's good. Um, I'll be going then. Uh, right. See? What did I tell you? Alright, alright, you win. You know, I don't think we should pick one over the other after all. I think we can agree that both are pretty popular with the girls. I prefer the Virtuoso. 
Notice how if you pick Victor, it kind of says, I don't think we should pick one over the other. Whereas if you pick Bylong, you pick Bylong. That's the end. That's the true outcome. And I'm holding it until the cows come home. Now to reset the game and get the right answer again. But as if that wasn't enough, we've got one more Thunder Flash exclusive Parallel Stone to check out before we can upload another video of the Wildfire exclusive ones. You go to Ryman Stadium, and it is not this Parallel Stone. That's the one that gets you a uh, frontline fighter por uh, black pawn from JP and Sam's conversation. It is actually further back and found over here. Where am I now? Excellent. That's everyone. Glad we could all get together for this. Mr. Schiller, at Inazuma National, what are you doing here? Arion, is your memory really that short? They're here to play us in an exhibition match. No way! That sounds fantastic! Funny. I'm sure I briefed you on this before. Oh, you did? Well, as I said before, we had a team reunion last week, and during the course of the evening, the discussion turned to Ryman. It occurred to us just how tough the coming battles will be for you. So we thought to lend you a helping hand, and set up an exhibition match come celebration. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I didn't think you'd be the type to forget this sort of thing, Arian. Sorry, um. I guess it slipped my mind. I'm forgetting this is a parallel world. He must have told all this to another Aryan that's not me. But wow, we get to play a real match with Inazuma National. This is going to be amazing. Are you alright, Aryan? You're acting kind of funny today. We know that the Football Prohibition Act is still in effect. But we just couldn't let you struggle uphill on your own all this time. We had to make a stand. I weren't chuffed about us not being able to give you a hand myself, but I'm glad that changed. Yeah, you can't love football without football. Thank you so much, all of you. Excellent. Well, opportunity knocks, as they say. Let's get to it, team. Yeah! I'm afraid we cannot allow that. <laughs> Xavier, are they? They are. It's us from the past. Alias Academy have slipped through time and ended up here, it seems. No. How could this even happen? I don't know. But there's only one thing that's clear. They don't belong here. I can't believe this. It really is us, huh? We came from beyond the stars to deliver you a message. Heed it well. Ugh, this is bad. Really bad. What if they realise we're them? Calm down. If we stay calm, they might not notice anything. Are you sure? I look quite different to back then, but you really haven't changed much apart from the hair. What? Really? I wasn't even aware of it. Hmm. Perhaps it's time I changed my image. Why not try working on a new accent? Um, well I did actually. I did come up with a Yorkshire accent for the Go games, whereas I had a bit of a French thing going on in the past. In any case, if they discover our identity, our reputations are finished. We mustn't let Arian find out, no matter the cost. Right. Um, listen. This is all getting a bit complicated. We'll sort this out, so perhaps you could go and take a short break? Be silent, feeble humans. I am Zine of the mighty Alias Academy. Gah. We came from beyond the stars to deliver you a message. Heed it well.
Ay, ay, ay. Must be proper embarrassing. Um. Beyond the stars? I think these kids have a screw loose, Arion. Probably watch too many B movies. Still, it's pretty entertaining. I don't know. Trust me, I've seen people like this before. We should give them a white berth. Eee, in that outfit, maybe this is meant to be a practical joke or something. I assure you, this is no joke. We have arrived on this planet to demonstrate our prowess, abiding by your laws, natures. Wait, nature's laws. This is not a joke. Which laws, you ask? The laws of football. Help my spleen. Xavier, are you alright? Somebody, please, make them stop. You know, I don't think they are joking. So they really are crazy people? Let's just back away slowly. Yes, yes, that's right. Look at the time. We really must be going. Isn't that right, Jordan? We've got a very busy schedule, you see. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Huh? Doesn't that boy with the red hair look a little bit like Mr. Schiller? Gah! Well, what a coincidence. But I assure you, he bears no relation to me. Come now, let's not get involved with these people. You will, he does. Wow, they're serious, all right. Nonsense. It's just a running gag. I'm sure this is one of those reality TV shows. Can we really bluff our way out of this? <laughs> Xavier, why not just try telling it to them straight? I don't think they even know that they're in the wrong time. Maybe you can persuade them to go back to their past. It's worth a try. Uh, if I must. And we actually to do this, play as Xavier <laughs> in his adult form as well. So this is something that doesn't even... Well, we played as Goldie, I guess, to pick between Victor and Bylong. But to play as Xavier is brilliant in a Thunder Flash exclusive scene <laughs> between my favourite character in the Inazuma 11 series, Jordan Greenway, and one of my other absolute favourites, in Xavier and Jordan. Oh, this is just brilliant. Like, I've always made it clear that I prefer Thunder Flash to Wildfire because Bylong is my favourite character in the Go series, but my favourite character from the original series is Jordan, and we get this scene to praise it as well. God, I love these scenes, but the Wildfire ones are brilliant too. Make no mistake of that, and they will be something to look forward to. But... We actually talk to four of the different members of Alias Academy who have uh, m moved forwards into the future now. And depending on which of these four you talk to, you do get a different reward. Dvalin and Bellatrix don't even talk unless you speak to them here, so that could be an incentive. But basically, if you talk to Dvalin, then the reward you will get is Gungnir, which is a long shot used by Dvalin in the games. And to be honest, that is the best reward out of the three, because if you talk to Zine, the younger French version of Xavier before he became a glasses wearer that looks like the guy from Rhythm Thief, then he will give you Meteor Blade, which is already available from shops in the game. <laughs> I gave it to Sol de Serum Wildfire, because that was in his level up moveset in the previous game. So. Not a brilliant reward. Frankly, Janus's is, is even worse because he gives you Astro Break, which you buy from France in Vucouleur. It's there and it's not even expensive, so it's a terrible reward, despite him being 
my favourite character of the bunch that I would want the dialogue from. And finally, Bellatrix, uh, she gets you not Emperor Penguin or Space Penguin or anything like that that you would hope for. You just get Land of Ice, which is not even an Alias Academy move. It's a good move. I like... Genuinely, I could find a use for that on some of the other characters. It was available for purchase in Go 1, and I haven't come across it so easily in this one. So I think that might be the one I'm going for. Gungnir is the other best choice. But although I will take that option for my own playthrough off screen, of course I'm going to talk to my guy Janus. He's my favourite character in the Inazuma 11 series. Alright, now listen here. You're in the wrong time period, so I'd really appreciate it if you went back to your own time. Now, you might not have noticed, but this isn't the world you're supposed to be in. Yes, we are well aware. Y you are. We are not of this world. We have travelled from beyond the stars. Gah, that's not what I meant. I wonder what Mr. Schiller was getting so worked up about. <laughs> There's Astro Break. Okay, so the dialogue doesn't even change. Definitely don't talk to Zine or Jordan or you will get useless rewards, frankly. But that scene has made my entire week. It's so funny. All of the exclusive Parallel Stone conversations in Thunder Flash are brilliant. And to know that I will also get to release a video showing the ones that you find in Wildfire is even better. We're only halfway there. So tune in for another video, provided you watch this one first. Maybe I'm just talking out of line here. Um, but yes, see you in another video, whatever purpose that may be.